Lane with CraftyLifeMom.com. I have two, not one, but two DIYs to share with you today, and they are pumpkin spice related. So if you're a fan of pumpkin spice, today's video is for you because it is pumpkin spice theme on the blog today. So the first DIY that I'm going to be sharing with you is a coffee frame or a coffee picture frame that has an SVG cut file that I created that you can download for free from craftylifemom.com. It is actually in the resource library and to get access to that, you can look in the description box down below and see how to get access to the free SVG cut file. It is free to be a part of the resource library in the Crafty Life Mom community. And like I said, the instructions are down below. So the first DIY that I'm sharing with you today is like I said, this coffee cup picture frame or little stand super cute and it has the SVG file that I created that says pumpkin spice life on it and you can see the little pumpkin with a heart on it super adorable I got this little stand from the Dollar Tree it had a design on the surface of it but it wasn't something that I was crazy about so I redid it now this is a cute little stand that you can put like on your desk or on your coffee bar and you can actually clip a little picture frame on it here or you can even gift it to a friend with a Starbucks gift card clipped right on there. How cute is that little DIY little gift? Super cute and like I said, the SVG cut file Pumpkin Spice Life is free from CraftyLifeMom.com's resource library. Now you don't have to use the SVG cut file to make this. You can actually use the SVG file to make a shirt or any other project that you want. All of the files that I have on the website are free for you to use for any project that you want to use them for. The second DIY that I'm going to be sharing with you today is a cute little sign that you can display in your home or like I said on your coffee bar since that's one of the places that I love to decorate. I mention it quite often, but it's a little sign that says pumpkin spice and everything nice. Now to make this little sign, you do not have to have a Cricut or a Silhouette cutting machine. Everything that I use to make this sign came from the Dollar Tree, even the decal and the fonts that you see here. So I am going to show you how you can recreate this if you want this exact same one. You can pick up some of the items from the doll, or all of the items from the Dollar Tree and recreate this sign for your home. I'm going to flip the camera around and get started, but before I do, I just wanna remind you to click the subscribe button so you're notified of every time, and the bell, notification bell, so you're notified every time I upload a new video. With that being said, let's get started. Okay, so to begin, you are going to want to gather up your supplies and pick out your vinyl that you're going to be using for this design. I picked an orange glitter and a chocolate brown vinyl for the spice word for this pumpkin spice life SVG cut file. Once the file was cut, I then put my cutting machine aside and weeded out all of the negative in the vinyl decals. Then I took the coffee frame stand that I picked up from the Dollar Tree and removed the little clip with a small screwdriver and the paper backing. Then I found this cute pumpkin scrapbook paper from Hobby Lobby and traced the shape of the frame of the coffee cup on the back side. Once I had it traced out, I just used my scissors to actually cut out the shape of the coffee frame of, on the scrapbook paper. And you can see here, it's just really easy. I just traced it and cut it right out. Once I had it all cut, I lined it up just to make sure that everything was smooth and fit onto the frame itself. And then I finished weeding the vinyl designs that I cut out and you can see here, I'm just lining it up to make sure it kind of fits and seeing how it's going to be placed onto the actual paper and onto the frame stand. Make sure that you get out all of the little pieces from the weeding because you wanna make sure that you don't have any 
negative space left behind. Then using some clear transfer tape or even contact paper from the dollar store, I made sure that each section of the vinyl decal had clear transfer tape in order to transfer it onto my design. Now originally I was just going to place it right on top of the pumpkin scrapbook paper, but as I was doing that and lining it up, I decided that it needed something a little bit extra. So I went back to my cutting machine and actually cut out an offset section of each word in white. I include this in with the SVG file that you can download from the resource library at craftylifemom.com. If you would also like to use this as a vinyl decal sign and you want the offset um, behind your words pumpkin and spice, you can do the same thing by cutting out the offset file as well. If not, then you can just leave it as is. Once I had it cut, I placed my decals on top of the white offset. And as you can see here, it just gives it a little bit something extra. And then I placed it onto the scrapbook paper of the coffee shape that I was going to be placing on the frame. And I kind of just arranged it how I thought it would look best and would fit within that frame design. And you can see here I have the words pumpkin, spice, and life on the paper. And then I add the pumpkin at the very bottom of this little frame. For some reason I was having trouble getting this off of the paper. I don't know why. I have never had that problem before. But I was able to actually get it and then place it onto the scrapbook paper. And lastly I put the pumpkin down below which was super cute. Then I applied it onto my coffee frame stand. I actually remarked the new location of where I wanted the clip to go. And then using Mod Podge, I painted a nice layer on the back or of the surface here in order for the scrapbook paper to stick down. I did the entire section. Once I placed the scrapbook paper on top, I then took some more Mod Podge and put an entire layer over the top of the scrapbook paper and my vinyl decals just to kind of hold and secure everything into place. And here's a final look of it on display in my coffee bar. Moving on to the next DIY, I picked up this Dollar Tree sign, this pumpkin spice vinyl wall clean decal sheet, and these wooden DIY wooden stickers. I then started by taking the sign and just removing the paper front or paper design that was on the front of it. This was very easy to do. However, it did leave some section of it at the top and the bottom of the design. You could easily take some sandpaper and sandpaper this off to make sure that the sign is smooth. However, I noticed that on the back there was a smaller sticker that was much easier to remove. So I flipped it over and actually removed that sticker there which left a much smoother surface and decided that that was the side I was going to use for this DIY project. Next I got out my paintbrush and my Waverly chalk paint in this white color and painted the entire frame section of this sign white and I just tried to keep it you know as thick as possible um, but covering up the wood section of it. You can see here I started to put it on pretty thick and then started to go a different direction and decided that that was probably not a great technique. So make sure that you run your paint in the same direction. I go back and cover it up here just to make sure that I have an entire smooth finish of the white chalk paint. I also made sure that I painted the edges of the sign frame just to make sure that you could not see any of that wood color or that chipboard part of the sign. And when I got towards the very bottom, I didn't even tape it off. I just ran my paintbrush real close to the edge, making sure that I didn't really bleed on to the bottom part of the stand. After I painted the entire frame or the entire sign portion of this in the white chalk paint, I then 
used my gray chalk paint, also Waverly brand, and painted the bottom section of the stand in that light gray color. I really like the two contrast color look for this stand, and so uh, you could do the same, or you can paint the entire thing white. You also don't have to use chalk paint. You can do a spray paint if that's something that you wanted to do. Either way, you still have to wait for all of the paint to dry before moving on to the next step. Once that was done, you can see here, I'm just painting that pink bottom portion in that gray color. Again, I wanted to have a two-tone section for this sign. I just thought that that was a look that I really loved, having those gray and white colors in my home. Then I took the gray and a brown color chalk paint and kind of just blotted some on the sides of the frame and then went back with my paintbrush in a dry paintbrush and kind of just smeared it all together and blended it in to the white paint. The white paint was not completely dry at this point, so it was able to kind of blend all of those colors together on the edges, giving it that rustic look or that more weathered and tattered look for the sign, which is something I wanted. You could easily leave it all white and not do this step, but I just liked how it gave it a little bit of extra dimension and um, bought, brought something a little bit extra to the sign. Once that was done, I pulled out the Dollar Tree window clean decals and wooden pumpkins and just picked out the ones that I wanted to use for this sign. And you can see here, I took the pumpkin spice and everything nice clean, which was clear, and placed it onto the sign. Now, it will not adhere. It does not actually just stick to the wood, so you will need to use an adhesive for this. And I just took some Mod Podge and actually Mod Podged the back of the window clean and placed it down onto the wood sign where I wanted it. Once it was placed down onto the wooden sign, I took some Mod Podge again and actually sealed it into place and did a layer over the entire top of the window clean. Then using my hot, gun, hot glue gun, I took those wooden pumpkin stickers and secured those in place where I wanted those on the frame. For the left side, I used two pumpkins, a natural one and a glittered one, and then I took another small glittered one and put it on the right side as well. Once that was done, I loved the way that it looked, but I felt like something was missing in the upper left side. And so you can see here, I grabbed a leaf window cling, also from that Dollar Tree window cling sheet, and applied it using the Mod Podge method on the back of the leaf, and again on top of the leaf to kind of seal it into place. And then you will see here a final look of it displayed on my coffee bar. Again, you can use this to display in your home for your home decor or even give it as a gift.